So Troy Aikman takes over with 1.55 remaining. Cowboys need a touchdown to win it. Out of the shotgun. Aikman throws it and is hit. It's complete to Dixon. A foot race. Touchdown, Dallas. And Aikman pays the price, delivers the pass to James Dixon, who turns it into a 75-yard pass play for a touchdown. And Aikman has yet to move. Well, Ken Stabler, that fourth and inches play for Phoenix could turn out to be the biggest one as Jimmy Johnson runs out to check on the franchise. Troy Aikman, who was absolutely leveled at the time he released it. And if anything, you certainly give Aikman high marks for the poise and credit for hanging in there knowing he was going to get cream. You knew he was going to get popped. You're going to see it right here. And I think you really have to like this in this young man. Uh, a very high pressure point of the game and watch him hold the ball knowing he's going to get popped and then when he gets hit look what he gets on it he steps up in there to buy some time really gets nailed but watch where the ball ends up it couldn't be thrown any better couldn't be thrown any better right out front he catches the ball in a dead run and of course Dixon's got great speed and he's off to the races so Troy Aikman who had missed five weeks of play in his first action since pays the price with a tremendous hit another angle of the lick right here hanging in there hanging in there and the guy that hits him got up ahead of steam too there he comes right there right in the chops so Dallas burns a timeout as the medical staff attends to Troy Aikman. So Dallas with one timeout remaining, Phoenix with two timeouts remaining. And Snake has been the battle of the young quarterbacks. Hogaboom, of course, gave way after the first half to Tom Tupa, who came on and has done a magnificent job for Phoenix. Good job by the young quarterback of coming in there and getting him in there, and I, I think that I think that fourth down play really hurt him an awful lot. Obviously, it did. Snake down. It looks like Anthony Bell. We were trying to decipher the number, but it looks like Anthony Bell who came in to apply that hit. 55. It is Anthony Bell. Anthony Bell is coverage. In his coverage, nobody releases out. It frees him up, and then Ekman steps up in there, and, boy, he really put a hit on him. Anthony Bell, of course, the fourth-year linebacker out of Michigan State. And Coach Gene Stallings, not sure if this is what he had in mind, but he told us before the game that if there was one thing he'd like to see out of Anthony Bell, and that's for him to make more big plays. And that may very well qualify as Aikman gets up and walks away under his own power. So a lot of sighs of relief down Dallas way. Troy Aikman and James Dixon have been awfully productive this afternoon. Dixon six catches for 203 yards and one touchdown. So a very impressive afternoon, and we'll wait to see whether Aikman will come on if they get the ball back or if it'll be Walsh. In the meantime, Luis Zendejas with the point after. High snap, but he drills it through, so the Cowboys move out in front by a field goal. One play covering 75 yards, and it took a grand total of 12 seconds. And Dallas with the quick strike back ahead looking for victory number two of the season.
and Dixon, as a rookie snake, putting together some very impressive numbers in the Dallas record book. Well, six catches, 203 yards, and a touchdown, and that's the fifth best in Dallas history. But they've had some great receivers there when you think of Tony Hill and Drew Pearson and great and receivers think, of that nature. I think it's fairly obvious that uh, Aikman, caution being taken there, concussion indeed. They were checking the right side just below the earlobe. 